So Beauty and the Beast, right? Beauty and the Beast pretty much starts off with this. There's this nigga named Adam, feel me? He lives in a nice ass castle. He has lots of servants and shit. And he's just chilling, chilling, chilling all day, feel me? But he has a stank ass fucking attitude. Case in point, a woman came to the house one night decided, you know, that she was going to knock on the door and see if, if she could perhaps stay there. And in return, you know, of her for her staying there, she was going to give the person a rose. It was a beautiful flower. And she thought, you know, maybe if I give this to somebody, they'll let me get a cop, a sleeping bag. Perhaps they might give me a Snuggie. She knocks on the door and Adam answers. She's like, there's a terrible storm. I'm soaking wet. I really need a place to stay tonight. Do you think you help me out? Do you think that, you know, perhaps I could just have a room tonight? Keep in mind, this nigga got a fucking huge ass castle, feel me? Like, you know, he probably ain't even been in half the goddamn rooms in that motherfucker, but it don't matter. Cause he asshole. Yeah, he was like, psych. He's like, first of all, you're busted, bitch. Second of all, you're old as hell. Goddamn, baby girl. And he was like, and what the fuck am I supposed to do with this flower? Child, please. And shut the door on this bitch. So the bitch was feeling some type of way. She was like, okay, that's how you gonna play me. She knocked on the door again and she was like, sir, do not be fooled by my appearance. And this nigga was like, fooled? Bitch, I'm fucking disgusted. You look busted. That's when all hell broke loose. The bitch just fucking went like this. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's my magical shit, okay? That's what the magical shit that I be doing, okay? This woman turns out to be a magical enchantress girl yeah she was like you know what word is born you fucking played me you tried to fucking play me right now you tried to fucking get at me you tried to snatch my wig bitch but it, it's glued on tight so she bippity boppity booped and next thing you know his house was looking busted shit was looking like mad fucking horrible not only that though she turned this nigga into a beast son when i tell you this nigga looked like alf mixed with <sighs> bullshit. That nigga from American Idol who was like, let my people go. That nigga, right there, message, right there, message. If someone busted, it's like, you know, they need something from you. If someone real, like, like looking real unfortunate, looking like someone deep fried them in dirt, you know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta use compassion. You can't just, um, Try to leave them in the streets. You gotta pick them up by their bootstraps and shit and be dust them off, help them, cause that's a lot of dust. But uh, get all the dust off them and you know, you know, let them be on their way. But uh, in this situation, wow. And tell me if this ain't some bullshit. All of his servants, everybody that was helping his ass out, people that didn't want to be there, people that was just on their job, bitch, got turned into all types of shit. Feel me? So they weren't too happy and like, would you be? Imagine if you was working at Burger King and your boss was acting a fool to somebody and they turned their boss into a fucking beast and everybody else got turned into like fry ladies and shit like that in a cashier machine. Wouldn't that be some bullshit? You're like, wow, like he's the asshole, not me. I have nothing to do with this shit. But true story, if it would have been me, if I would have been turned into something else, I would have been mad. I would have haunted the shit out of, out of that enchantress. I'd be like, you know what? Hold up, bitch. I'm coming with you. And I'm going to haunt you. I'm just going to talk to you all fucking day. I'm going to just bother you. I'm going to ask you why the fuck you did this shit to me. The woman pretty much is like, listen, you about to be a beast for a minute, son. You about to be a beast. Listen, you remember that flower I was telling you about? Yeah, look at this fucking flower hoe. When you turn 21, um, you better have uh, found somebody to love your fucking busted ass. Or you're going to fucking die. Some bad time passes and the beast is just like, this shit is for real. Like, it has been a lot of years. And... I am still a beast. And you know, he just, he just, you know, being a beast, like he wasn't used to that because he was pretty fine. I used to know beast when he was, when he was like um, a human being. I was always trying to spit game at him. I was like, how you doing? Like, how you doing? You know, I dress nice and I put on my perfume, my baby powder and shit. But I make sure that I smell, I was smelling good when I was around him, but he was just like not feeling it. I was like, that's fine. I move on. We move on in our story to Belle, right? Belle is like the regulation hottie, but she's mad strange. And everyone's like, yeah, she's hot. But the bitch is always reading. Why is she always reading? Why is this bitch always in the books? It's not cool. Pretty much, Belle is in like the hater capital of the fucking world because who the fuck is mad that you're pretty and you're reading? Like, really? And who the fuck is mad that your dad is a fucking scientist? Like, I don't know no fucking scientist. I don't know nobody building shit in the house. 
True story, the last time I heard about somebody building some shit was a shelving unit and the shit was failed, okay? The shit did not really work out for them the way that they fucking thought it was gonna work and the way the shit looked on the box. Well, let me meet somebody who's a scientist. I'm gonna be like, word, tell me what you're making. Oh, a potion, oh, a ray gun. I'm excited, I'm not mad, I'm not gonna hate on you, that's crazy. Elle and her father are the outcasts of the village and she seemed to have uh, sparked the interest of just the, this nigga is like, wow, Gaston, what? I shouldn't call him that. His name is Gaston. But st I'm gonna call him Gaston because that's what his mama named. Mama named Clay. I'm gonna call him Kelly. Gaston was like pretty fine, but he was mad nasty. He had his feet all on her table. Talk about something. You're gonna rub my feet. Women shouldn't read. Just saying all types of shit that was offending me. I was like, I should not be getting offended by a Disney movie. But uh, Gaston really did offend the fuck out of me. I'm not gonna lie as a female. But I was like, at the end of the movie, I wasn't mad because that nigga got clapped. That's what happens. Every time people do something in a movie I don't like, they get killed. I'm telling you right now, I don't know what it is, but it's great. So I don't have to worry about them at the end, ruining my happy ending. So, oh, I'm sorry, I already talked. You already knew Gaston died. Stop playing. Belle's father is in the woods. You know, he ends up getting lost, and he decides to go to a castle that he sees. The Beast Castle. That's the Beast That's where the Beast Leo. The Beast was like, you know what, motherfucker? Thank you for trespassing, because now you're a prisoner. Got you! And put his ass in a fucking cage. Bell's father was in the woods, and he was trying to decide whether he take the left or the right. The right one said, do not, do not trespass. Like, do not go this way. And he was like, let's go this way. And the horse is like, nigga, I can read. It don't, it say don't go that way. It says do not go that way. Mm -mm. I don't know what kind of fucking donkeys you used to, but I'm a horse, bitch. I can read. Someone taught me. Each one, teach one, and now we're going this way. But what happens is um, Maurice, Bell's father, is just like, nah, we're going this way. And that's why, you know, what happened to him happened to him. The horse is just like, fuck this. I'm not about to get caught out. You know what I'm saying? I know how to get home because I fucking Googled that shit before we fucking left. So the horse comes up to Bell, and Bell's just like, where's dad? Like, where's, where's my father? And the horse is just like, hmm. Somehow the bitch understood what that meant, got on the horse, and they rode to the castle where the beast is at. The beast is pretty much just like chilling or whatever, and Belle sneaks in, finds her father, and the beast comes out of nowhere. The beast just like throws this bitch, and he's just like, listen, ho, you ain't supposed to be here. You need to leave. You need to leave right now. He didn't bark, but there's other stuff he said that, you know, a bark would suffice. Belle was like, you know what? I'm gonna stay here and place for my father. I'm gonna, I'm a man up. I'm gonna take his place. Put me in a cage now. So that's what happens, you know. And she don't even let him say bye. He don't even let her say bye. He's like, you know what? Let's go, Maurice. Grabs this nigga by his fucking collar, throws his ass out the fucking house. You know, Belle's pissed. Belle's all depressed and shit in her room. And he, she don't want to eat with the beast. Nothing. She don't want to chill with him. She's like, oh, this nigga's despicable. Like, he couldn't even just let us go. Like, damn, we didn't take nothing. We didn't steal nothing. Nothing. We weren't even really trespassing. I was trying to find my fucking dad and shit. This nigga is tripping. I should have called the fucking police. Where's the brigade? He learns that, you know, he can be a nice guy. And, you know, she's plus, plus she's a gentle soul. Her father, he's back home. And he goes into the tavern and he's like, Niggas, this beast got my fucking daughter. Y'all need to help me come get this bitch now. Come quick, let's go. Pale, squale. And they're all just like, psych. And they throw this nigga outside into the snow. Belle was talking to the beast and he brought her to his little west wing, his little secret place where the flower is at. He showed her the magic mirror and you can see where anyone is at any time. And she was like, I want to see my dad. And she sees her dad like, just living a terrible fucking life, just looking fucking terrible. And he's just like, you're beautiful. Are you mad at me? Liar. So, you know, she sees her father and he's just looking real fucking downtrodden. And she's like, listen, beast, like, don't get me wrong. We cool and shit. And you my best friend, you my boy, you my homie and shit like that. You my girl in a bag of pearls. But... My father's over here, like, getting stomped in the streets and shit. Like, I, I need to go home. The Beast is like, you know what, bitch? Okay. I love your ass, but okay. Gives her the mirror and is like, whenever you want to see me, you know, just look at, just look in the mirror and I'll be there. Belle went home. But um, what happens is Belle's home for like a fucking minute and that's when Gaston comes out. Gaston's like, you know what, bitch? Listen, 
you either gonna marry me or we gonna put your dad in the fucking bin. We putting your dad in fucking Azkaban. And she's just like, really? Can I live? Like, did I just not escape one nigga? And here you go? She was not feeling it. That storm came out um, saying some shit like, you know what, give me that mirror. It takes the mirror from Belle's like, we gonna find this fucking beast. Back at the crib, they locked Belle and her father in the fucking basement while they go to go get the beast. So here comes a little cup and he's like, hey, I'm gonna save the day. I'm gonna let y'all niggas out. I'm gonna give y'all free. And the little cup cuts, you know, just goes and turns on this machine and knocks open the door and they go and try to get the beast. And there's this crazy ass fight, all types of shit go down. And Gaston is pretty much like, listen, beast, like, I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna kill your ass right now. Gaston falls off the ledge. You know, beast is about to die when Belle's like, you know what? I love you. I love you. I really do love you. In the last moments of his life, you know, she cries on him. She's hugging him and shit, caressing him. The last petal of the flower falls. The flower actually keeps him alive. So that was pretty awesome. I was like, oh, that's cool. I was like, oh, the beast is flying in the air. I was like, oh, now he's a really hot guy. That's awesome. I was really pumped about that. I was like, that's really great. But then I was just like, hmm. I was not invited to their fucking uh, wedding slash dance. I was kind of mad because I was in town. But um, that's okay. Cause you know, I usually, I'm always at the Disney functions and shit. Like whenever they have a function, I'm always there. I was at Hercules' wedding with uh, that other bitch. I don't really know her name. I don't really show her too much. I think it's Roxanne, but I could be wrong. But Nala got married. I was there for that. That was beautiful. And when they had their little daughter, Kiana, that I thought that was beautiful. I was like, oh, that's a cute ass little name for your daughter. I was like, so happy for her. Oh, uh, when um, one of the seven dwarfs, he recently um, got engaged. Um, I was at the engagement party. Listen, ho!